Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sounds good. Sounds good. Back in the day when you used to say this thing because my mic sound nice. Take one. Let y'all sound nice this morning. Amen. 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 Today is our August Day celebration. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us stand. Praise God and give all blessings, Lord. Praise God from the
the Lord for being here today. You know, Thanksgiving is our way of saying, Lord, I can't do it by myself. I acknowledge you. So when you say, thank you, Lord, for waking me up to see another day, you're saying, I didn't wake up on my own. 
The alarm clock did not wake me up. My mom did it, but it was you, God. So we want to give thanks to God because he's good and his mercy endures forever. It is he who has brought us here. It is because of the mercies of the Lord that we are not consumed. Great is your faithfulness to God. Your compassions are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. We just want to give praise to him. We want to tell him thank you for his greatness, for his goodness. We would like for you to join in and be a part of the worship. Not be a spectator, but be a participator. Let's praise the Lord together.
Amen. 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 Our scripture today comes to us from the book of Matthew, the 13th chapter, the 36th through the 43rd verse. Matthew, the 13th chapter, the 36th through the 43rd verse. Amen. Amen. And he reads. Then he left the crowds and went into the house. And his disciples came to him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. And the good seed is the sons of the king. The weeds are the sons of the evil. And the enemy who sow them is the devil. The harvest is the end of age. And the reapers are at angels. Just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all lawbreakers, and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be gnashing, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears, let him be. Amen. Amen. Word of God for the people of God, bless be the name of the Lord. Let us stand the Lord that brought over the sky. Come on, Lord, and
traveling mercies um many things happen in the midst of driving but you know there's uh, i was driving and those deer on the side of the road getting ready to jump but it was like the hand of the lord held it back so i just give him glory and praise because i remember there was one time in our life every time we turned around a deer was causing a wreck so i just praise god for protecting us and allowing us to be here today amen, amen. 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 Yesterday, Jasmine celebrated 19 years of life. Woo -hoo! And today, Solomon celebrates 14 years of life. Oh, and I just thank God for keeping them safe from all the harm and danger, for protecting them, for watching over them, and guiding them. I just praise God. Amen. 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 Any other prayer 
request. Let's continue to pray for Sister Michelle Wayne Roberts, Sister Erica Booker, Brother Jerry Munker, Brother Doug Atkins, Brother Ezekiel Roberts Jr., Brother Joseph Roberts, Sister Natasha Brown, Brother Keith Barnes Jr., Brother Anthony Roberts, Brother Isaiah Chapel, Sister Christine Roberts, Brother Edward Graham, Sister Judy Roberts, Brother Benny Bogey, Sister Julia Nelson, Brother George Hudson, all the children in school. Do we have any prayer requests from the floor? And I have a, a close friend who, her husband lost his mother uh, this past week, the Thompsons. I like your prayer for my Amen. Today we call on one of the elders to come and pray for those who are on this list. So I introduce the son of the elders, Brother Moses. Amen. Amen. Let us bow our heads and take every care to God and pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, just again and another time, a few of your handmaid servants have gathered themselves here with, between these old consecrated walls just to try and turn. So I'm going to thank son to you. Oh God, we come thanking you. Thanking you for life, health, and strength. Oh dear Heavenly Father, we come, dear Heavenly Father, praying for all the ones that are on the sick list that was read out this morning. Realizing, dear Heavenly Father, that you're already there in the midst because you're everywhere at the same time. Oh dear, Heavenly Father, we just pray that you let your Holy Spirit rain down on them, dear Heavenly Father. Let them feel your presence. Let them feel your care. Let them know, dear Heavenly Father, that you are God to God, King to King. Lord to Lord, yes. that you have all power in your hand. Yes. You have healing power. Yes. You have delivering power. Yes. You have saving power. Yes. Oh dear Heavenly Father, your blood, your blood covers every situation, dear Heavenly Father. Yes. Oh dear Heavenly Father, what can make us whole again? Nothing, nothing, nothing but the blood of yes. Jesus. Wash us, dear Heavenly Father. Wash us, for God, and make us whole again. Yes. Your people, oh God. Oh, pray, Heavenly Father, we pray that you just come on in this sanctuary yes. this morning, dear Heavenly Father. Catch hearts and minds, dear Heavenly Father. Let them know, dear Heavenly Father, whatever situation they find themselves in, that you can lift them up out of that situation, dear Heavenly Father, if we only turn to you and seek thy faith, oh God. We need you, Lord. God, we're standing in desperate times, oh God. We look in that things that are coming we can't see right now. Oh dear Heavenly Father, but you see all things, you know all things, for uh, you are a way out of no way. Yes. Oh dear Heavenly Father, your word tells me yes. that man's extremities is just God's opportunity to work in our life. Have mercy, Lord. We thank you now, we praise you now, dear Heavenly Father. Oh dear Heavenly Father, let every heart and mind in this sanctuary be touched by your Holy Spirit. Oh dear Heavenly Father, these and all blessings, blessings, oh God, we just pray it in thy Son, Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, dear God, we give you the highest praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Our announcements are as follows. We have a letter from Jerusalem AMB 
Church in Brooklyn, Georgia. Greeting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jerusalem AME Church family, along with our pastor, Reverend Valcourt, are elated to invite you to our Laura William Annual Missionary Day Sunday, November 17th at 3 p.m. The speaker for the occasion is the Reverend, the Reverend Dr. Estella Edwards Shabazz, uh, the Mayor Pro Tem of Savannah, Georgia. Theme, missionaries plant with purpose, grow in faith. Proverbs 16 and 3. Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. We hope and pray that your schedule will permit your missionary society and church family to grace us with your presence as we prepare to feast on the word. You will hear a dynamic, inspirational speaker. Until then, may the love and peace of God rest upon you each day. Yours in mission, Jerusalem and New Church. Lauren William Missionary, Women's Missionary Society, Sister Shirley Page, Deputy Women's President. We are invited out to Greater Bethel a &E Church in Statesboro, Georgia on December 1st, the first Sunday, the first Sunday in December for their church anniversary. Reverend Roberts is the guest speaker. On December the 21st, which is a Saturday, at 6 p.m., we will be having our Christmas Pinkata. On Sunday, December the 22nd, we'll be having our Christmas program. The Savannah Central District Conference will be this Saturday, November the 23rd, at St. Mark's in Townsville, Georgia. It will start at 9 o'clock. Any of our youth choir members, they are looking to have a youth choir singer at the district conference. So, if you don't mind coming out to sing, let me know. I'll talk to your parents and we'll arrange for you to go down to St. Mark's with us on Saturday. And then the Savannah Central Lay Banquet will be Saturday, January the 11th at 5 p.m. The tickets are $40. I have a ticket. If you wish to purchase one, please let me know. The community youth choir, community youth choir rehearsal will be canceled this week because we will be down in Townsend, Georgia with the district conference. Remember, there is nothing you can do to make God stop loving you. You love more than you'll ever know. John Green, 16, 3, says, thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you for those announcements. Are there any other announcements or anything you would like to add today? It's so good to see all of you here with us today. Thank you for coming out. Thank you that it not be robbery to do so. We love you. We appreciate all that you do. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. It is our prayer. If there is nothing else, at this time, we're going to ask that the officers come up with our eyes and our feet. The choir will come back and give us a selection and we will come back and we will say the word. Amen. 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 Amen.
when you was coming up, now, they had a cane bank. The same thing like in Sweden, we call it a cane bank. And during the winter months, you would take it and lay it down, you know. Well, we would dig it out and lay it down and the leaves, you know. It's just like, they call it banking cane, just like the bank sweeper say. And they would cover it up with straw and dirt, and, 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 and then you would, in the next year of spring, you would take these up. And they, they, they painted just like this with it. all the shoots and all the greenish and stuff on it. That's what they painted. That's what we did. Now, they might have a new, new way of doing it, but you know, they were painting. They had a furrow, they did not have a furrow. I call it a furrow like a, what do you say, a fish or it's still out like that. It's a long road. They would lay these down in there. And they got a, a Apply that and cover it up. You know, you put the fertilizer down, I'm talking about that, that fertilizer, and you lay it down. And then when it rains in the weather, and you put a, a bed sheet to it, it was going to grow. So, it's so just a process. It's a long process. Well, it's not going on if you were born there. I don't think it's going to happen. It takes time, you got to wait on the water. It doesn't have to go in any time, yeah. And you have to try, um, at least, um, all of it, but everything is two, three months. A two month, yeah, two month, three months, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a process, not a process. Okay, so when you would plant this, you would plant it like in the yeah. spring? Or during this time? Well, you plant it, no, you plant it in the spring. In the spring. Everything will be planted in the spring when it just gets warming up, warming up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do you mind sharing some more, or have I bored you out? Do you mind sharing some more? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this, this these oh, are, somebody was kind enough to bring us some raw peanuts. Oh, wow, they were kind enough to show them for us. Yeah, you know, they were peanuts. That's easy to talk about. Now, the peanuts, you, you kill your soul up, you color lady, and get it, you know, you know you color lady, chill it up, and you feel this pretty much with dirt. Then you, then you got a uh, machine, you know, kind of a machine. And well, I'm trying to get the you got something called the plant, you got to plant these other ones. Well, I'm naturally, when you plant something, I always test my soil. I tell you what you need to put fertilizer. And, and, and uh, anything that grows out needs fertilizer, mineral, before it grows. You broadcast that over the field, you chill it up in the soil and everything. Then you take a big machine and peel it. The whole field smooth, you just get a straight shot out of the and then you run a road, you come back and run another road. Now this is, I'm planting a big field, and you say nothing, I'm going to plant a few in the yard, and I'm going to plant you. You can't use all of them, and 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 you can't use all of them. You know, a big field of them. That's what you're trying to feel. This is an easy process. Peel up is an easy process, but you have to have a tractor, a planter, a house, something to get your soil ready. You've got to have your soil ready to plant anything. I say ready. You got to chill it, they chill it up, so it's, it's not the dirt out there. Don't see no grass or anything. It's smooth, pretty, it's soft. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what else we have. Oh, somebody has bought this? An eggplant. Yeah. I'm basically trying to figure out the tomato plant. Everybody who's growing is on the tomato. Now, I'm this. This is already just paying out. They like to kind of tomato. They're all going to put it like the tomato. Tomato plant. They plant their own life on tomato plant. Mm -hmm. So it's fairly easy to plant also. So you have to do tomatoes. You sit them out. You sit the plants out. You know, so the seed is so small. It's what you can always do. So when you do it, you put them in something like a cup. And it grows. It's probably a little more than that cup. Cup. There's too many cups in the cup. You just pull them out and get the water and stick them in the middle. You can see when that grow when you cook that, you put a soil in there and cook. That plant will connect and you put that little thing of soil on the side and put you in the cook and plant that in there. Thank you. Let's see what else we have. Thank you so much. Hey. Hey. Yes, sir. How many of you in here have a tractor? <laughs> a tractor. Most of you don't have a tractor. You can plant for anything you have. Because it's 
so that they tempt the world. They will not have a trifle. You have a five million uh, integration seat from Thursday. Love that growing up, you pay 25 cents. All the greed you get each in a year. Not a dollar. For one dollar, just dig a hole. Long you see, you, you, I ain't got a hole, I ain't got a shell. Just take a stick, dig it in the ground, put it in there and watch what happens. They're going to grow. You say, I don't have all kinds of chances in fur life. Go in, down to get all kinds. What's called? The miracle grow. If it don't grow, the miracle grow, it ain't going to grow. You <laughs> <laughs> don't see anything. You see about that, a lot of stuff right here. Everybody can eat fancy food. You ever say eat the house and the hall? You know, a lot of stuff that a lot of people throw away. That's how we survive. You can how you people survive, that's how you survive. Let me give you a little also the inside of the cane. You see all these joints of the cane? Eat the joints of the cane. You feel it good. That's a potential plant ready to come up. So all them sections you see, all them sections, all that potential cane stuff. So just cut all you do, all that cut all the things, see all the little good, and put it in the ground. Guess what you're going to turn to? Stop the cane! That's what you do! Look at that. Lock it. 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 They only came up on them, but they beat them on. So the main thing is you can't be late. You can sit back and you go down to the food line and give them all your money. Yeah. 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 Even if you don't understand, I ain't no more farm. Go to the extension office and he will give you, he'll tell you for free. That's his job. You and you say, I got to agree sometimes. You can say, look, look at the camera. He's going to tell you everything you need to know for free. He didn't come out to your place. How did you go that wrong? That's why you be you be growing some stuff. He's a good expert. You have to think of all this. Don't tell me that you don't have to worry about that. Everybody has to say grow with and make stuff. So the kind of thing you do, that's what you can do. So you want to grow chicken, goat, cow, farm, anything that grow fish, anything you think of. That's what you think. Thank you, thank you so much, Brother Scott. I saw a hand. This is wonderful. We're having audience participation. Okay, this is what I want to say. Yes. My neighbor next door to me, she throws everything in the pan and the bucket. I mean, she has plenty of food. She asked me to come pick. All the day, everything in there, I didn't see the key. It's a prison wall. It's going to be tricky. And you can surprise. It's just a bucket. And I retired. I said, I'm going to try that. Because that seemed easy. I don't know if it's easy now. Well, thank you so much. So, you, if you don't have a tractor, if you don't have a home, grab a stick and grab a bucket and you can plant it in that. And also, I went to a conference recently that they gave us a bag. There is some type of new bag they have that you can plant, put your soil in, or just put your dirt, put your seeds in it, and here you are having a bag that will grow. Um, I think. If you don't mind, for Yes. Something I'm saying, um, with the cane, um, my dad used to do a lot of farming. He worked, everybody said that he worked at the Mount River Plant. But then he had a garden, he used to do a small farm. And uh, when we would eat cane, he would cut the, the joints because we were, when we were small, we couldn't cut it. And he would save the joints, and that's how he would plant his cane each year. Because those joints would sprout right up, you know. It's like in the planting season, you put them in. And he did, um, he did eyes of the potatoes, you know, because if you see a potato, if it stay in your uh, cabinet long enough, you see it was sprout all the time, all the way everywhere. And you can cut the eyes of the potatoes, white and sweet potatoes, and it will grow more potatoes. And he would also put, um, for the Zika said, banking them up, we would bank them at our granddaddy's house, um, out of 301. And like a teepee, because we used to love to jump on it. <laughs> you were going to jump So they were, like he said, mounted up in a, a teepee shaped thing with the straw and all that in it. And certain times of the year, um, they, they would go and get, Mom said, I need some more potatoes, sweet potatoes. 
and you can go in the bank and actually get some of the potatoes out, but then it will be there for the next season if we use my own arm. Like the brothers used to say, but it also served kind of as a storage thing if you wanted to get, you know, if you didn't have potatoes, you don't want to go store and buy a but you can get um, the sweet potatoes especially. Not a farmer, but a, a, a person who would have been a farmer but found that he couldn't do <laughs> He could not do a farm by himself. My <laughs> mama no said, and I will not do it for you while you're at work. <laughs> Praise God. Wow, this is amazing. We're getting so much information, educational information from people who experienced it themselves. Brothers and all. Yes, um, I try to grow some of everything. I probably gone to eat them. Uh, I try, um, I take it with stuff that I have to do But for I have creatures, I have apples, I have plums in my backyard, and they grow real good. And um, I got grapefruits and stuff. It's just not the hard thing I'm not yet to grow. But um, I couldn't bring that nigga to Tampa in the past the season. So, I'm going to keep on trying to get the stuff that I'm going to grow the season. That's not a spy. You know, you know, I wish you could go back to your wildlands again because you had a good sweet wildlands. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And I just want to share one more thing. Um, for those of you who, like Brother Scott said, if you're having trouble getting fertilizer, something we're learning about and doing in school even now is learning how to create your own compost. And with your compost, you want to put things in it. No meat, no sugary things. But you want to put natural things such as a banana peel, you want to put, you know, the, like if you have your pecan, you know, peanuts, whatever, the holes and shells, maybe you could do the shells of the eggs. And as we're, we actually did an experiment of it in class, we had a container, we put the soil in it, and then we just started putting scraps, leftover like scraps, you know, you know, like you said, no meat products, no dairy products, but just the regular, like peeling of of the apple peeling, the apple core, those kinds of things. And over the period of time, we literally saw how it began to decompose. There were tiny micro decomposers that would help change those things back into soil, and we were able to use that as fertilizer. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Everybody, let's give Brother Ezekiel a hand. Okay, Brother Beckins. I'm not a farmer, but uh, I'll be around farmer. But growing up as a, as a child, uh, I used to see them that they take the cane and they put it uh, in a grinding thing, and then they have boil it and they make syrup. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's all I know about. Amen. We have another one. But I want to give a shout out to Brother Ezekiel. Brother, uh, I'm 76, I don't mind telling you. My mother will sometimes go back her age, but I've never, I can thank God I'm here. But anyway, Brother Ezekiel Roberts have had the best greens. I'm telling you, in the county, in the state, and in the department. Brother Ezekiel grew stuff that my dad grew grown years ago. The, 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 like, I don't want to shout too loud, I'm going to kind of speak it out. The, the, the collard greens, the turnips, the mustards, the rapes, there's a group that's, what is it like, all right? There is so many different greens. He grew all these varieties, and when he, and y'all, he had his, his, um, well, I would say orchard, but it's not orchard, but the, the fields with the greens were made, his brother Zeno had his um, blue rose, and then he would put the, the black um, plastic paper, plastic stuff. His greens were as clean as anything. You would not have, you can go to a farm and get stuff like that. You got to wash your cake and do all this stuff. You take those greens home and wash them. Brother Zeno had the cleanest greens I've ever seen in my life. He, when he cut your greens, and put them in the paper, they look like they had, I'm telling you, they were not find a store, you know, for those expenses of all these when you really get a lot of money. <laughs> so I want to give a shout out because the best watermelon, 
grown in the state of Georgia. Best green grow in the state of Georgia. I can't test it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah.
Amen. Amen. For those of you who don't know, you came from the earth. Amen. Every mineral that is in the earth, even gold, is in you. The same thing to make the soil respond well. It's the same thing that makes your body respond well. The reason why you can't heal is because you're not using the natural. You're using the chemical. Go back to the old time way. The things will get better for you, I promise. Amen. Any other things that anyone would like to say? Amen. Thank you for all this time. Amen. 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 Brother C is actually in the history books here in Spirit County as being one of the best farmers in the Southeast. Amen. 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 I say, every farmer should praise his own power. Amen. Quiet, sing.
Somebody smiled at him and he said, what is this art that you're talking about? Look what he said. I'm not telling you a story, but I'm telling you the truth. The harvest is coming, and it's coming soon. All these stalks will be knocked down, and there will be no more corn for to be gathered up and taken away. You will be killed by giant machines if you stay here. Spider said, I don't believe in hearts. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in giant machines that knock down the stuff. How can you prove this? Look at what continued. He said, just look at the corn. See how it's planted in rows? It proves that the steel was created by an intelligent designer. Mm -hmm. Spider laughed and mockingly said, This steel has evolved. It has nothing to do with the creator. Mm -hmm. Corn always grows that way. Mm -hmm. The bug went on to explain, Oh no, this steel belongs to the owner who planted it. And the harvest, again, is coming soon. Mm -hmm. The spider grinned and said to the little bug, I don't believe you. Mm. And then the spider ate the little bug for lunch. Mm. Few days later, the spider was laughing, thinking about the little story that the little bug had told him. He thought to himself, a harvest. What a silly idea. I will be all my life, and nothing is ever disturbed me. I've been here in these thoughts from since they were a foot from the ground. And I'll be here for the rest of my life because nothing is ever going to change in this city. Life is good and I made it that way. The next day was a beautiful sunny day. Right there in that cornfield was nothing but peace. The sky above was clear, mm -hmm. and there was no wind at all. That afternoon, as the spider was about to take his head in the house, mm -hmm. he noticed a thick, dusty cloud mm -hmm. moving towards him. He could hear the roar of the great machine. Mm. And he said to himself, mm. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> the moral of the story, mm. you better eat the moral. Amen. 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 Harvest is a supply of anything gathered at maturity and store. Mm -hmm. The question comes to mind, are you ready for the hawks? Amen. Have you matured and ready to be collected by God? Amen. In any event of hearts, there are some steps you have to perform before you can benefit, reap, and gather your crop. Amen. You have to prepare your soil. It takes time. Soil has many nutrients. Soil has to be overturned because if you leave it there, it will dry out. Amen. Next, you need to plow the fields. Turn the dirt over. Make sure that your rows are straight. Your seed. Mm -hmm. Then you have to begin to care for your seed. How do you care for your seed? You water your seed. Mm -hmm. You give it sunshine and give it oxygen. Mm -hmm. Continue to care for the crop, and when it grows into maturity, we can reap the hearts. Amen. That is the physical attribute 
of promise from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. But the spiritual aspect of boxing is a little more intense. Amen. Mm -hmm. Life is no joke. Amen. 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 From the rocking of your cradle until the end of your life, it is no joke. Amen. And we are not preparing our soil to produce good crops. Amen. We are not preparing our children to grow into productive people. Amen. We say we are. Mm. Whether they with me or not, that would be true. Yes, sir. Amen. We let our soul mm -hmm. get out of hand sometimes. Amen. We are bombarded with life's issues. And sometimes we look for patterns to help us out in time to throw. Yes, sir. The spiritual pattern is already laid out. The rules are already laid out. God is giving you word through the Bible to help you with your hearts. Amen. And some of us who have never planned it before never look at the directions. Amen. God has given us a blueprint on how Yes. But some of us won't even open the pages. Yes, sir. God has given us a direct line to heaven. Yes, sir. And some of us are trying to discover new ways. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know about you, but if the creator, the writer, the author, the one who knows, the one who designed, is giving me directive. Knowledge, wisdom, yeah. 
understanding. But some of us, we're not itchy ears. We don't want to hear what we need to hear. We want to hear what we want to hear. Amen. I can make you famous, yes. I can make you rich, yes. Let me show you how to get the yes. Let me give you this word. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I don't need nobody preaching to me now. Mm. You're going the wrong way. No. Mm. I know how to get where I'm trying to go. Mm. You don't need to do that. I'm going to get what I need. All right. But God speaks to us. Yeah. Amen. Through other people. Yeah. God speaks to us in mysterious ways. And his only ideology is to make sure that your fields are growing. Yes. I got three points today. Three, three points, points today. today. Number one. Number, Number one. one. So good seed. So, so good seed. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're going to have to pick the right seed, first of all. Mm -hmm. And when you pick the right seed, you got to make sure that you nurture that seed. Whenever you're dealing with anything, you have to put your best foot forward. Amen. The reason why so many things fail is because we settle for anything. Amen. Some of us have to start learning that if it don't mean you no good, then it has to go. Yeah. A lot of us don't want to hear that because we know we got some no good men and we know we got some no good women. Amen. But because we're happy that we got somebody, we keep that mess. Amen. If the person that you're loving on that's trying to get with you that's not in line with your practices of godliness and I'm sure somebody can tell you this today you need to let him go. Amen. Some of us have suffered a lifetime of pain because we're trying to hold on to something that don't want to be kept. Amen. I had a dog. Yeah. Siberian husband. Yeah. Her name was Isis. Mm -hmm. Isis, every chance she got, would run out the door, leave the neighborhood, and disappear. Take care of your field. 
to a lot of people that will get something. It looks nice and it's good. Yes, but we don't take care of it. Amen. God has blessed you with good things. Amen. And we won't take care of it. God has put a good person in your life. One that won't lie to you. Amen. One who looks out for you. One that cares for you. One that will walk through the fire with you. Amen. And while we're doing all that stuff with you, we have a tendency to look at everything else while we're with the person that's going through with you. Amen. Trying to find something to replace that with. Mm. Yeah. Then we say, after everything fails and everything doesn't work out, I should have kept what I had. Amen. Mm. My brothers and my sister, God has blessed you with a little, but He wants to make you ambassadors on the much. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But He wants to know that He can trust you with the small things. Amen. Now, God can trust you with the small things. Then you'll do what you're praying for, which is, Lord, increase my territory. Amen. 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 But if I can't trust you with the small things, how do you expect me to give you something bigger? Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Amen. I want a big family. Mm. It's a little family. Mm. Take care of that. I ain't never home in that day. That was what I had to do. Maybe I ain't come home from work and I ain't got my mother that's so long I need to do. Like our kids said today, they throw streets. My mother and my father always taught me when I was growing up. If you want to be a good person, to your name. Come home tonight. Amen. 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 Come home every day, son. Amen. And I've been practicing that unless I have to go off to some of these conferences, but every night I come home. And I used to be out cut off time, y'all. Amen. I do side work. I got a job, but I still do side work. Uh -huh. At 9.30 p.m. Yeah. I don't care if I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. I don't care if I'm in Richmond, Hill. I don't care if I'm in Savannah, Georgia. At 9.30, baby, I'm on the way. Amen. Okay, I'm going to put that on. Just let me know in five minutes when I get up. Because we're taking care of the people. Amen. Number three. Number three. Reap the harvest. Reap the harvest. Now that you've sown good seed, now that you taking care of the field, you get to reap the hearts. I want you to understand this. Whatever you've done in caring for your seed that you plant, you're going to get out of that seed what you put into it. Amen. So if you didn't water that plant and it's about an inch tall, that's your fault. Yeah. If you didn't put sunshine on that plant and it's about an inch tall, that's your fault. If you didn't sit that plant outside and make sure that it had oxygen and that it can breathe, that's your fault. Don't look up to heaven and say, Lord, right, if you would have, that's your fault. God gives us free will. He gives us the ability to choose whether you want to serve the enemy or whether you want to serve God. And we have to make a decision today whether you want to do one or the other. I you, but I'm more interested in God's skill than I am with the enemy's skill. Because I know that in the end, dealing with the enemy, there's going to be fire everywhere. So whatever you plant, you're going to get it back. Yes, sir. If you plant something bad, you're going to get bad things back. Yes, sir. If you plant good things, You'll get good things back. Yeah. God is coming back whether you know it or not. Amen. Whether you like it or not. Amen. Whether you accept it or not. Yeah. And we argue with these people. You think there's some big man in the sky that's going to forgive?
forgive you your sin. He coming back one day. Hey, I don't care what you believe. Hey. Amen. I, I read that Bible and everything and that Bible so far has come to pass. Amen. Now, if all of this other stuff has happened, mm -hmm. just like the spider in the field, yeah. If I understand all of this other stuff and I've been reading and I got this understanding and I've seen it with my own eyes and I, I know now what I've been reading is manifesting itself. I don't know about you, but I'd rather believe and it not be so Amen. than not believe and it does happen. Amen. But yes, I'm a believer. Yes, sir. Here in the Bible, Jesus was explaining to the disciples the one who sows good seed is the Son of Man. Right. Yes, sir. So now I want you to notice today the obvious sow of bad seed is the Son of the Enemy. Amen. The field is the world. Amen. Amen. And the good seed is the sons of the kingdom. How many of you are sons of the kingdom? How many of you are good seed? Amen. I'm good seed. I, I don't know about nobody else. I can't speak to nobody else, but I, I try to be good seed. Good seed. I want to make sure that when I go out in the world, somebody can benefit from eating from me. Amen. 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 The weeds are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. Amen. <coughs> so now you got something to worry about. But if you're on God's side, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Amen. I, I, I want you to understand today that if you're not good seed, you're bad seed. Amen. It ain't no middle seed, I'm an all right seed. I, I, I want you to know today that you have a choice to make. Whether you're going to do good and go to heaven or do bad and go to hell. Yeah. Uh, the Bible continues to say that the harvest is the end of age and the reapers are the angels. So in the end times, the angels will come and reap the good seed. Yeah. They're coming
who wants to choose this day whom they shall serve. Come. Maybe there's someone who wants to be baptized. Maybe there's someone who wants to join the church. Maybe there's one who wants to be saved. Come. Don't wait for tomorrow, for tomorrow may be too late. Let's give God some praise. Yes, Lord. Lord, as we touch him today, 
Yeah. We ask that you please heal him upon this body. Yes, Father. Father, from the pit of his soul. Yeah. Crown of his head. Yeah. The soul of his feet. Yes, Father. Now trust yourself in him, oh God. Yeah. That he may be healed. Yes, yes. So that when he comes back yeah. to make his report, yeah. he can say, Yes, Father. Thank you. Shout. Yeah. Tell the world about yeah. the goodness of God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you today. Thank you. We ask that you bless every household represented here today. Yes, Lord. Move upon these people, God. Yes. That they may reap the benefits of the king. Yes, Lord. Lord, we love you. We love you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. And it shall be so. Amen. 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 God bless you. Yeah. Lord, peace. Knowing that whatever it is that you suffer from, be healed yet by faith. Amen. 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 Let us stand all over the sanctuary. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. Rest with and abide with us all. Henceforth now and forevermore. Let us all sing. Amen. 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 We are Bethel. We are Bethel. Our house of prayer. House of prayer. We are. We are. Bethel strong. Bethel strong. Shake hands with your neighbor. And if you would like something from the altar, please come forward. Thank you. Give what you want.